welcome to this week's recording, live recording actually. Um, my name is Melanie Vendette. I am a bubble bath mentor and every week I jump on to the group to have a discussion about our self-healing baths through uh, ingredients that we grow for product making to energy healing and so much more when it comes to every like every aspect of our bubble bath we pretty much talk about <laughs> so this week's topic is uh, a kind of a part two of last week's recording and uh, but before i get into that i want to talk about my wine of the week so i actually brought the bottle with me um this is a new wine i haven't tried it before it's called white house wine co i bought this at my local lo liquor store and it's a Resolin Pinot Grigio. Okay, so before I get into any more, I am not a connoisseur of wines on any means. I am just your typical mom who loves drinking wine. <laughs> That's basically it. And I actually really enjoy this wine. It's got like, oh, I love white wines that are like fruity white wines. And this one is very like, got a lot of uh, fruit flavor to it so I really enjoy it so try it out if you haven't um, if you have actually I wanted to start bringing in what I call a question to um, the live and I actually would love to know what type of white wine or if you're not a white wine red wine or rosé any type of wine that you love to drink I would love to know just pop it in the comments below and uh, yeah because I it would add more variety to myself and I would love to try them so let me know what type of wine is your favorite and drop it in the comments below so I could try them out myself <laughs> so on to our topic of the night um, again like I said it's part two from our last recording uh, last week which was the topic about chakras and how we bring chakras into our bubble bath experience so last week we uh, talked about all seven chakras and what areas of the body um, were that they're placed on our spine and everything else to it. So today what I wanted to talk about was exactly how do you bring that type of energy into your room. There are a variety of different ways that you could do that. There are um, like essential oils, the type of music that you listen to, and even certain um, yoga positions. I love doing a restorative yoga after my bubble bath in the bathroom with the heat, just to give a deeper stretch and relaxation to my experience. So even yoga poses can help with creating the, the certain chakras that you want, chakra energy that you want in your bubble bath space. Now I have talked before, and I will keep mentioning it again, that water is a natural amplifier of energy. So it takes that energy that you have, that you are trying to influence in the room, and it amplifies it by roughly 800%. So think of it as like sonar communication, right? We are one area and we send out a sound or a noise throughout the water. It expands and flows and waves through the water to communicate with whatever we're trying to communicate with. Same idea with your chakra energy. You add it to your water, to your bubble bath, to the room, and you influence it and it creates an energy healing environment for yourself. So I'm going to use uh, the root chakra as an example tonight. So the root chakra for essential oils, you have a lot of grounding oils such as vetiver, patchouli, um, and frankincense. Those are three of the top, yeah, those are probably the top three for um, root chakra. And what's really interesting about this is that vetiver is actually extracted from the root of the plant. Frankincense is, is extracted from the resin of the plant, which is the sap, and patchouli is a is it, it, tongue tied <laughs> is extracted from the leaves. So these are actually the beginning parts of a plant, which in turn connects with our root chakra, right? So it starts with the base, just like our base of our spine and it all intertwines. Now the frequency of music for our chakra is 396 hertz, 
uh, per second. So if you are curious on how to find that, you go into YouTube, you go into the search bar and you literally put 396 Hertz and it will give you a ton of different songs with that frequency in it. And you could just hit play and enjoy that tranquility, meditative music that they have on YouTube. I love YouTube for that purpose. <laughs> I have a variety of music for free. And then finally for Root Chakra, you can also bring in a color. I also mentioned uh, yoga poses, which I'll get to uh, all afterwards, but you can also bring a color if you want to deepen it even more. So for a Root Chakra, the color is red. So if you start bringing red elements into your room on top of your essential oils, on top of your music, and then of course on top of your yoga poses, you're, you're enhancing the energy in your bathroom for your bubble bath experience. So yoga poses that you would use for Root Chakra, for example, would be like the Lotus Pose or the co Corpse Pose or even downward dog. So anything that has to do with the base or lower back, uh, base of the spine, sorry, I should have finished that thought, base of the spine and lower back will help, or even like that has to do with the legs will help with your root chakra. So these are, just, this is just an example. Obviously there's the, seven, the other six chakras also, but this is just to give you an idea of what you could do and what you could bring into your self healing bath to create an environment that's actually healing for your body, mind, and soul. So I hope you ladies have a great week. I will, I actually look forward to next week. I love talking to you ladies every week um, on these sessions, on these recordings. And again, let me know what type of wine you love to drink because it will add to my list and I will try them out and I will talk about them on these recordings every week. I will see you then. Have a good weekend and week. <laughs> Bye for now.